Hey, what's up? It's Blake, and I'm going to help you make some money because this video is five websites you can buy Amazon return pallets online at, or really any businesses liquidated merchandise because you're going to be buying things from Walmart, Home Depot, Amazon, uh, Wayfair, a whole bunch of businesses who have surplus inventory or shelf pulls or returns, uh, and they want to sell it to you at a fraction of the retail price. There are a lot of websites that help you do this, and I'll be naming off five of them in this video. There are other ones, uh, but these are five I've used, and I'm going to give you my personal experience. This is not saying they're good or bad, just how I, uh, how I interacted with them, if I made money, if I didn't make money off of it. And you can make your own decisions because with these pallets, there's no uh, guarantees you're going to make money. And a lot of times you're going to lose money if you're not doing your research. So uh, remember, everything I say, double check on your own time. And not just me, anyone on the internet because you can say anything on here. There's no best place to start for a beginner. But by watching the video and checking out the websites that I recommend or at least talk about, you are going to have a advantage over the competition who's just walking through a forest blind looking for good pallets uh, a quick disclaimer for some of these websites you have to apply to be a buyer and they're going to have different requirements for uh you know business licensing or whatever it is so don't ask me in the comments just go there and check it out yourself because if you're just asking someone like me uh you don't have the ability to go and do it yourself you're not going to succeed at this it's a, a business it's an uh, industry it's a sector a vertical for self-starting people. Okay, that being said, the first one is bstocksupply.com. Bstock Supply is like eBay for pallets. You're auctioning uh, on everything. Everything is an auction, so you're bidding it up. Uh, most auctions begin at 300 bucks. Some are higher, but usually it's around 300 bucks. And you're gonna see two types of pallet loads on bstocksupply.com. The first type is the ones I wouldn't buy. They're just like 300, uh, you know, private label products, uh, hand sanitizer bottles, for example, or, uh, you know, like Fitbit knockoff watches. And they're, they're priced essentially at the wholesale price if you buy them off dhgate.com or alibaba.com. So ignore those. The good ones are the oftentimes unmanifested returns. Uh, you can get these from a lot of individual sellers. Sometimes you're going to see that it's all from Amazon. Sometimes they're just someone's returns from their, you know, eBay store. Um, you might think, oh, why would I buy someone's returns? And if you're thinking that question, the video is not for you because if you don't see the value in buying someone's returns at a fraction of the cost they're going to sell for, then you're not going to make any money. So you're buying these returns from people. Sometimes they're shelf pulls. Sometimes it's brand new inventory that's, you know, the last time I saw that they were all uh, security systems for a defunct security system portal. I don't know, system, <laughs> a, a, a defunct security system. And so these cameras that would only hook up to this one security system were selling for like, you know, 80 bucks on eBay. And they sold a couple hundred of them for like two bucks a piece. Now the sales history of these cameras on eBay was not good. It was like one selling every few weeks. So, you know, whether it's a good, uh, good buy, that's for you to decide. But what I'm just trying to say is it does happen. There is new inventory. There is shelf pulls. There is returns. There is salvage inventory, all that stuff. So do your due diligence uh, as you go through the listings on bstocksupply.com. You're going to have to pay for your own shipping usually. Uh, some of the listings have their own little widget that makes the shipping price automatically pop up. And sometimes you're going to have to use your own shipper. I recommend freightquote.com. You can use uship.com. Both of those are going to be pretty good as far as price goes. The second one is going to be techliquidators.com. This is like bstocksupply.com, but it's Best Buy only. Best Buy owns this. Uh, they're primarily shipping out of Kentucky, it seems like. It's more for the Midwest. The ones that I'm going to be doing in this video are mostly in the Midwest. Um, you know, obviously, B-Stock Supply is all over the country. But uh, this one and then 888 lots that I'm going to talk about later in the video, those are both oftentimes in the Midwest. You're going to see some uh, tech liquidators auctions out of the West Coast, but usually it's Kentucky or Minnesota. I don't know why. Uh, that's the way it is. And these are often going to be in-store returns. Tech liquidators is going to sell for a lot higher price in relation to the MSRP than B-Stock Supply will. And that's because oftentimes these are going to be newer electronics. They're going to be store returns. And people just expect to sell those faster. 
And whenever there's a faster turnaround on the money and it's easier to sell, then the margin shrinks and shrinks and shrinks. The times you find the great deals are when it's like a random product that no one else knows about or it's unmanifested or there's just all, you know, a bunch of caveats have to be have to be uh, on the check sheet for it to work off. There's no little check sheet. I'm saying like in your mental check sheet. The third place you should look is Craigslist.com. And if you're 30 years old or maybe 25 or older, you're saying, well, of course I would know that. But most people who, who are under 25, I'd say, did not grow up checking Craigslist. They've got Facebook Marketplace, they've got Mercari, they've got OfferUp, they have Let Go. Uh, Craigslist is kind of a, a, a hidden gem in regards to getting pallets of merchandise. You're not going to go on there every day and find good deals. But if you check routinely or if you set up alerts to your email for certain keywords like pallets or bulk or surplus, uh, you're going to have a good chance of finding a really good deal. I've bought a few things off Craigslist, uh, but mostly it's people I know. A good friend of mine got like $10,000 in free Halloween costumes. I've seen people get great hauls on used books, pal to those for free. Um, usually people who sell on Craigslist are not very tech savvy, so there's a good chance to get a great deal there. Probably one that doesn't fit the list, but one that is also necessary to say to the younger audience who's watching this. The fourth one is going to be liquidation.com. So personally, I do not like liquidation.com. I had a terrible experience with them. I would say it's probably the worst customer service I've had in my entire life buying an expensive thing. I spent a couple thousand dollars on a few pallets. I got them on Friday. I didn't check them until Monday. And over those four days, they said that my ability to return the item was gone. Uh, someone sold me a salvage pallet that was marked as uh, returns or shelf pulls. They totally lied about it. It maybe is a mistake, but it was not true. And because I spent four days, including a weekend, to file a complaint with them, they said, oh, sorry, you're shit out of luck. So uh, I do not recommend liquidation.com, but you might not be me. Maybe you're fine with that very, 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 very shitty return policy. Or it's not even, it's a dispute policy. It isn't even return policy. It's for when something is not as described, you have two days to file a complaint. That is insane to me, but whatever. If you're willing to put up with that, it's a great website that has lots of options. There are going to be auctions going off multiple times a day in all parts of the country, so check that out. Uh, but be warned that if you have any issues, you cannot expect them to be on your side. It's um, It really is just like, I, I give businesses a lot of slack. Because I run a business, too. But when someone has such a draconian dispute policy, and when you say, oh, it was the weekend, and oh, like, this is obviously a mistake, they don't care. They don't care at all, and they say it's your fault, and I, I don't shop on there for that reason. I don't like them at all. But you might like them, so I'm going to add it on the list. The fifth and final option is 888lots.com. This is a pallet liquidation place. Uh, general merchandise liquidation, just surplus inventory out of New Jersey, so mostly East Coast. People are going to check this one out. They do primarily manifested lots, and so you're going to see uh, a lot more, I I'd say higher pricing, I guess. However, even though the pricing is higher, it's a lot more likely that you're not going to be losing money on this stuff. They take the effort to go through and manifest stuff and make sure it's all there, uh, and in return you pay more. So just like liquidation.com sold me a crock of shit, uh, I do not think that 888 lots would do that. Um, I haven't bought from them in a long time, so I can't talk about how things are now for them. I've been focusing primarily on getting pallets off bstocksupply.com because there are closer sellers to me uh, and I can get better rate on shipping. But if you're in the East Coast, I would highly recommend 888lots.com. Uh, it's kind of a weird website, kind of clunky, the user interface, but don't let that deter you. There really are some great deals. Oftentimes, I hear about people in the Facebook group getting great lots on there. And they're paying a dollar for 100 video games, a dollar a piece for 100 video games, uh, getting really good deals on makeup shelf pulls, stuff like that. Uh, but be warned, though, when a good thing goes up there, it goes fast because there are so many people who are checking it multiple times a day. That does not mean that you shouldn't be checking it multiple times a day, too. It just means that there's going to be some competition there. But competition is a good thing. It makes us all work harder, better, and smarter. And there's the list, guys. Five websites. BStockSupply.com, Craigslist, 888lots, Liquidation.com, and TechLiquidators.com. Uh, go out there, check it out. If you want these in a list form, I have an article below on my website, wbkultra.com. I have some more articles on there too you might like. Check it out. And as always, 
don't be a shithead.